the sewers. This is the Turtle Power Podcast. This is your audio source for all the news, reviews, and insight into the world of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now join your hosts, Brian, Alex, and Darby. Bossa Nova! Bossa Nova? Chevy Nova? Excellent! Now it's time for the Turtle Power Podcast. Welcome everybody to episode 12 of Turtle Power Podcast. Uh, Your host Ryan here along with uh, Alex and uh, today, well, uh, looks like Darby's pulling a serious bossa nova today uh, (laughs) because... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if he's sleeping. Maybe he'll join us here shortly. Uh, fingers crossed. But uh, in fact, we've actually replaced Darby with a <laughs> special <laughs> guest today. Uh, uh, would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, uh, Ray from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles dot com. All right. <laughs> And, uh, here, yeah, well, thanks a lot, Ray, for coming on to uh, the show. Uh, we uh, we yep, actually, I uh, believe you reached out to us and um, and uh, just said, hey, you know, we're like the show, uh, be interested to uh, working with you guys in the future. And, uh, you know, I, we actually, it actually, <laughs> it actually led to us with kind of a, a big deep uh conversation about where we were going with the show and everything like that so um thank you (laughs) yes absolutely we reached out to you guys because we like to support all tmnt related sites and the podcast was pretty interesting when i first heard it i was really really intrigued that i've never seen a podcast before that for teenage Ninja turtles so we definitely support it well, thank you very much. And, uh, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, this is, you know, for, for anybody out there, you know, we're, we're, we're kind of in the same boat as, as, uh, as you, Ray, where, you know, we're, it's, we're a big, one big happy family, right? You know, we're, we're all spreading the turtle love and, uh, uh, we definitely want to help each other out. So. Yep, absolutely. Uh, so, uh, to get started with every, uh, guest that we have on, uh, we have to start. It's, it's kind of an icebreaker uh, with our the great, <laughs> infamous, maybe infamous. I'm not sure. We'll call it great for now. The Great Turtle Power Podcast Questionnaire. Uh, uh, answer, a- answer carefully because we will judge you. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. <laughs> so um, first question, uh, how did you become a TMNT fan? Starting from the 1987 cartoon series. Seems to be a popular answer. <laughs> I think that was pretty much how we all, uh, the three of us, uh, were brought into the series as well. Uh, favorite character? Doesn't have to be a turtle. I would have to go with Mikey, Michelangelo. Oh. Right. <laughs> we got a Mikey he, fan. He's just too he's just too funny. His one liners can be beat. <laughs> well, that's true. That is true. He is uh especially in the new in the new series. I mean he is the comic relief. I I'd say in the eighty seven series yeah, Absolutely Greg Sipes is doing an amazing that. Yeah, no, he he nails it's the only it's the only thing Greg Sipes is good at. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Alex and and and, uh, and Greg are having a bit of a online flame war at the, this moment. I guess maybe a little it's bit. A, it's a little one sided because I'm the only one that's really in war, but that's okay. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, okay. So very good. And a favorite incarnation of the turtles. Now, uh, you know, comic book series, animated series, or movie. Um, what's your favorite one? 
favorite incarnation at the moment, it would have to be. Yeah, that's, that's a tough, tough question. That's a, it's actually a very good question. I would <laughs> still have to go with the 1987 cartoon series, wow. but the Nick, the Nickelodeon series has been doing an amazing job. So it's actually very tough at the moment. It it, it certainly has been. It is, you know, we we had our. I mean, we had our pros and cons at the uh, um, near the beginning of the series. I'd say about is it? halfway through the series, we we kind of came up with the pros and cons, and that that list of cons has been dwindling, and the the, <laughs> the list of pros has been been growing. So it's kind of taken the same path that Avatar did when Avatar first came out, and as 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 they as uh, Aang started growing in the series, uh, we, we started becoming more involved in the series and liking. It that much more, and that's kind of what the turtles are doing. They're just kind of continuing to grow uh, and mature throughout the series, and I think that's why we're starting to get a little bit more intrigued. And the the, the storyline, the plot line, especially with with April, it's really starting to get interesting. So, it is. I'm, I'm definitely into it right now. Yeah. So let's let's talk about uh, your site, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles dot com. Uh, okay. What. Uh, yeah, kind of. How did how did it all start? How did uh, was like web development kind of just something you were interested in, or or just fan sites, or? Well, it did start with web development, and we had a developer help uh, create the site. And basically, through uh, a lot of time administrating and building up a fan base, it just it just stuck to me because it's something that I have a passion for with the Ninja Turtles and. Just being able to work with so many different people, um, interacting with fans, has just been an unreal experience. So never, it's never something I would like to stop. Definitely, I mean, you guys definitely have a uh, uh, quite the uh, following. I mean, you got a bunch of a uh, bunch of fans on on you know, Facebook and followers on Twitter, and and um, uh, you got us, you got a a store on your site. Um, how did, uh, how did that all come about? The store, uh, in particular? Yeah. Well, we have a few affiliates that would like us, uh, to be able to start selling some of their products. And with the affiliates that we deal with, they basically had us, uh, started setting up some of their uh, items on our shop. And after maybe about a month, we had the shop entirely up and running and we're always trying to update it with anything new that we find so we always encourage anyone to send in anything that they would like to see on the uh, tmnt shop excellent yeah and uh uh you you did uh send over uh, uh some some gifts to us we really appreciate it uh, alex and i <laughs> both have our uh our turtle eye masks um, so happy you guys had like them yeah They're absolutely awesome. <laughs> uh just saw alex uh what was that uh tuesday night yeah that's yeah. all like that yeah yeah and uh so but uh yeah and um you guys have a a poll up uh, on your site too or right on the the home page and i actually wanted to share the uh the results of it right now because the question is what is your favorite um series what's your favorite animated series and right now uh in first place is the 2012 animated series with 45 <laughs> percent the shocker is second place is to me hey because i thought i didn't think the 2k3 series would be in second place right now in the voting but it is and i'm glad it is because it's one of my favorite uh series but it came third place was eight, the 87 series which i found kind of shocking i was it just i was shows surprised you the generational gap makes I, me feel old yeah I, <laughs> I was surprised by that as well um uh you know i and i i really don't know why that's that's kind of the weird part too so um uh you know also just just you know looking at your site here you know you've got uh all the news stories that have been coming out obviously <laughs> um you've got uh uh quotes and uh a uh like fan art that i mean that's really cool um I, i've got a huge collection of fan art on on my computer so um yeah it's uh it's a great site and i definitely encourage uh, everybody to go 
and um, and check it out. It's it's is. I mean, what was kind of the story about how'd you get the name? I mean, you got the name Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles dot com. Well, that did not come from me. That was uh, something that was done from my uh, supervisor and he was he had his domain and basically we just wanted to be able to use it of course because it's the official name that of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles so that was just something that we're fortunate to have uh, control over and just building the domain was the part that we uh, that we had to pursue for it yeah absolutely it's, awesome uh, yeah <laughs> I mean you guys literally have the name <laughs> <laughs> um uh so let's let's see um we have a a, a pack show today <laughs> mm-hmm. we got a whole whole bunch of news uh we got some fan feedback and uh of course we'll close it off with our song of the show so um so if i may ask what what is your favorite incarnation of the teenage Mutant ninja turtles i guess for both of you uh, right and alex um, uh, me personally, I actually, um, I agree with you. I'm, I'm a huge fan of the 87 series still. Um, you know, rewatching it, it's, it's, it's not the same as it was when I was a kid. Um, but it's hard not for that not to be the favorite when that was what introduced me to the phenomenon that is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So, um, it's, 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 it's a series that I hold near and dear to my heart. And, um, I just fell in love with all the characters and all the voice talents in the original series. So, um, that's still my favorite. And how about you, uh, right? For me, um, you know, the the two K three series does have does hold a special place for me because it's kind of what brought me back into the uh, into the uh, the franchise. Uh, mm-hmm. But uh, I think I'm gonna say the very first movie. Very first movie. Yeah, I I, I, I can, love the intro that you guys had on the the podcast. It was from the beginning of the the first movie. Yeah. <laughs> yes um i mean yeah you can kind of tell its influence in in my choices of uh <laughs> sound effects and whatnot but um it's it, I, I mean that's a movie i can i can watch and literally you know it's still just say all the words you know throughout the entire movie you know i'm, I'm it's dreadful for other people to watch with me because i'm just you know <laughs> Just talking throughout the whole thing, just knowing everything that's going to happen. We have an interview going up pretty soon on our site. We were able to interview the voice actress of April O'Neil in the 1987 cartoon series. Outstanding. Outstanding. So, wow, that is really good. Um, Man, that is awesome. Yeah, see, so that's the kind of stuff that uh, that w- we eventually want to get into is uh, is getting some some uh, some voice talent in here. Some some especially some of the ones that don't get all the spotlight, you know. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, so that's really cool. Really cool. Um, and uh, we we did have one other uh, guest that we were hoping would uh, make it onto the show. Uh, this week, but uh, fortunately, uh, they had to reschedule. Uh, but um, uh, we're going to uh, hopefully get him on a future podcast. So uh, let's, you know, because, and, and that's fine because we have so much news to talk about. So let's get into the <clears throat> news. Let's do it. April O'Neill, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right. So, um, you know, no particular order. Um, I guess we'll, let's start off with some of the new comics news, uh, and, and then of course, uh, actually, you know, maybe it's good that Darby's not here because uh, he's just going to give us a hard time about how I'm not up to date on IDW. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, issue twenty uh, has recently come out, uh, is along with uh, <clears throat> Secret History of the Foot Clan number four. Um, Ray, are you a comic book guy? Partly, 
Yeah, yeah, I am. I am too. I mean, it's it's a thing where I'll bring them with, you know, if I'm on travel or something for work, where I can kind of catch up. Then, um, I, I, I'm I'm terrible like at home. Like I've got books everywhere, and I just never read them at home because I'm just either playing video games or watching TV. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I have been. I've been uh, catching up on, uh, you know, the Mirage comics, and not catching up. It's it's more like a lot of them reading for the first time. But uh, you know, I, I do I do kind of feel I, I need to uh, kind of get back on track with with the Mirage series because it is really good. What I've read so far is is very good. Um, uh, speaking of the Mirage uh, series. Um, the Ultimate Collection uh, Volume 4 uh, hardcover release is uh, finally coming out next week. Um, that, uh, in addition to that, that's also um, uh, Color Classics, uh, the Leonardo Color Classics is coming out, and another Tales of the TMNT is coming out. Um, so that, that's really good because that that's... Those are the the books that are kind of filling in the at least the first volume of uh, the Mirage uh, series. Um, for for somebody like me who wasn't necessarily really into the series uh, back when I was a little kid, and uh, I really I'm really getting to experience it for the for the uh, for the first time now. Um, yep, I believe uh, Ultimate Collection Volume Four. I believe covers uh, original Mirage issues uh, 48 through 55, and uh, believe the Tales uh, that's coming out. I believe that's Volume Two of Tales of the TMNT, uh, which covers uh, five, six, and seven. So, um, in, uh, pretty sure that's what they cover <laughs> but we still have ultimate collection volume five and hardcover coming out um still and that's going to cover 56 through 62 so um at that after after volume five comes out um most of the mirage uh volume one um will be covered there's still maybe let's see i'm just kind of glancing at it here uh, about 15 to 20 issues that are still left open. And, of course, there were 67 issues overall uh, in that first Mirage series. So um, it's really nice to see that they, they the IDW has been going back and, uh, and uh, uh, you know, going, going back for, you know, for somebody like me. Uh, to, to be totally selfish. <laughs> so, um, uh, yeah, so... Uh, in addition to all of that, we do have a new uh, comic book series, uh, which is going to be covering um, the the new animated series. Uh, volume 1, Rise of the Turtles, uh, is going to be coming out. And I don't know if you guys have seen this. Uh, it's almost a, um, a comic book version of the animated series where there – it's like – the you know the block art is actually just screenshots from the animated series, and then they just have the the word bubbles in there to kind of give you an idea of you know what they're saying in that scene. So um, interesting. Uh, I I thought they were going to go with more of a uh, you know in universe animated you know in animated series universe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, both new stories. I didn't. I didn't realize they were going to be just rehashing the the uh, the episodes that have, we've already seen. So, um, I don't know. What do you guys think about that? I think it's pretty interesting that they're doing it, putting in a comic book version. You know, I guess for some people that can't necessarily watch the show every week, uh, we have a few fans that complain to us saying that they can never make it to watch it. So, this is a good way for them to be able to catch up with uh, the show, I guess, but I think that if Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird were to see these, they wouldn't necessarily approve because a comic book is supposed to have um, its own story, I guess, and then you could build around that from a show, but it's, it's good in a sense. Yeah, well, that's, a, that's a very good point. What, what would uh, 
<laughs> Kevin and Peter do. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> yeah, we, we should make the bracelet and sell it in your fan shop. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Um, WWKPD. <laughs> Um, so yeah, uh, but you know, no matter what, having a lot of, uh, turtle comics out there, it's always a good thing. Uh, you know, it, it uh, definitely lists, uh, read comics, uh, turtle comics, uh, growing up. So, well, it's, always- it, it, it's, it's, it's going to bring in younger, uh, a younger audience to the comic book scene, which it might be what they're trying to go good for too, point. which is a good thing. Good point. You know, it's this. That's a very good point. Um, I think of the other co- uh, animated shows that have done the same thing. Avatar, you mentioned earlier, did the same thing, mm-hmm. and they're actually continuing that original Avatar storyline in comic book form. Um, in addition, uh, I know the Clone Wars has done the same thing as well. So, uh, yep. unfortunately, the the Clone Wars is yeah. Well. Uh, <laughs> I have a question for you guys. Uh, basing off of comics and the origin story, what did, uh, do you like? Do you like the take that Master Splinter is, is derived from Hamato Yoshi, or do you like it where he actually was Hamato Yoshi's pet rat? You know, that, that's a very, very good question. Um, Alex and I were just talking about this the other day. Um, we were actually for a future uh, episode. Uh, we're talking about doing a an analysis, really, of uh, kind of the origin story and all of the, the different uh, incarnations, um, kind of comparing and contrasting um, and, 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 and trying to figure out which, which one we like the best and which, which aspects we, we like more than others. Um, you know, anywhere... You, any, uh, you know the turtles and the ooze incarnation. You know how that's changed over the over the years. Yep. Um, Splinter, if he's uh, you know premutation, if he's uh, a human or um, if he's a rat, um, and how does that you know work with Hamato Yoshi? Um, whether that's Splinter himself or if it was his master. Um, <clears throat> I I personally like personally I like the idea of Splinter being Hamato Yoshi just because of the fact that he is so incredibly skilled in fighting. I find it hard to believe, even though I'm a huge fan of the first movie, it's still the best movie in my eyes, and it's one of my favorite movies of all time. But it's it's very difficult me to 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 uh, think of a of a rat in a cage mimicking his master's moves. Um, that, that, may, that may just be me, which is fine. But I, I I like to think of of Splinter as actual Hamato Yoshi being a mutated with rat. Well, Alex, as, normally uh, you are a very intelligent person, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, here, uh, you are just absolutely wrong. Um, the the correct answer was <laughs> that uh, that he's it, it's better that he's a rat, and I'm gonna tell you why. Uh, two main reasons. One, in the first movie, he's so darn cute when he's in there. He's he's doing his ninjutsu moves in his little cage there. I mean, that's that's adorable. It really, is adorable. Uh, the second reason is it, it has to do with the mutation. Um, the whole, I mean, as far as a biological understanding of a fictional ooze, uh, <laughs> that um, it makes sense that if the turtles are turtles and they mutate into their, their mutated form, that, uh, that Splinter would be a rat and mutate into that form as well um now i know if you go back to that original animated series right it's it's whoever they interacted with isn't that what what the storyline was it was whoever they interacted with. right like bebop and rocksteady interacted with a rhino and and, and uh, a warthog or um razorback whatever it was and uh you know and they, Mata Yoshi and, interacted right. with a rat so he went to the rat so um, right. So, yeah. <laughs> um, well, I mean, you know, uh, obviously I'm just joking, but the, it, 
Uh, that's that's Ray, personally that's my Ray, that's Ray, has, that Ray has caused controversy within the show. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got, what, what is we got your scientific is? reasons, biological reasons, many yeah, what, reasons to why you guys would like Hamato Yoshi as a rat or. <laughs> <laughs> so Ray, what is your uh, what is your favorite? Which well, one do you per- think makes the most sense? Personally, like. Um, like let's say the new Ninja Turtles movie coming out in 2014, I would like to see him portrayed as Hamato Yoshi. I just believe that, just I agree with Alex that <laughs> his he understanding his uh, moves as ninjutsu would be coming better from Hamato Yoshi. Now, the re- the whole uh, biological reason that Ryan gave, yeah, he's right about it, but. <laughs> I don't know, just I agree that he should be coming from Hamato Yoshi as opposed to Hamato Yoshi's pet rat. I I, de- I definitely will give you the fact that yes, if granted the turtles were able to learn it in their mutated form, but for the you know for my I guess preferred incarnation, um, yes, that would that would mean that he would have had to learn those all of that as a rat, and we all know that rat brains are and 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 the fact that the turtles huge. learned it is a little is is not really a factor because they learned it while they were in a humanoid form so right, it, it, right. It, it's it's not valid and your argument's full of holes so um <laughs> you lose <laughs> i i may have that's true um but uh, it it was interesting. Even as a little kid, uh, I could tell, uh, you know, there, that there were differences, and and this was, you know, something that I could tell right away that uh, was was different. You know, there was a lot of a lot of aspects to the turtles growing up. Differences between the two that I didn't really care about. You know, I didn't care that the the voices were different. I didn't care that. Um, you know, this, the skin color change from series to series or whatever, but, um, that was something that I knew right away was, was different and, and, and made a difference. So, uh, yeah, thanks for, uh, stirring the pot there. Right? That's, uh, that's a good <laughs> way. We, 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 <laughs> we will still, uh, we'll, I still definitely want to, uh, you know, go over the, um, go over this with in, in, in a bit more detail in a future episode um you know, we'll look at all the comics all the animated series the movies i guess the movies only have one incarnation well they currently only have hmm. one kind of currently so megan fox is going to give birth to them in the new movie oh, i have a feeling <laughs> all right let, let, hold off <laughs> hold off <laughs> <laughs> uh let's 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 uh we'll we'll, we'll save um the uh the ninja turtles updates and uh so when we say ninja turtles that's that's what we're talking about we'll talk specifically about the, the movie because i guess that's still the working title so uh but first let's let's talk about power con uh 2013 um uh you may have meant, uh, heard us mention this uh this convention on an earlier episode um uh, it's a fan convention coming up in uh, September uh, out in California. Uh, it's just outside of L.A. And, yep, uh, September 14th and the 15th. There we go. And uh, it's a, um, you know, it's a, it's a, you know, it's centric on the, the cartoons uh, from the 80s that we all uh, grew up uh, enjoying and loving. You know, He-Man, She-Ra, Thundercats, and most importantly, the TMNT. So um, tickets are on sale now. Um, uh, I mean, it's a steal. Uh, I mean, s- Saturday only $25, Sunday only 15 or a two-day pass for 30 Uh I mean that is that is a steal, uh, folks. Considering the guest list, absolutely. Uh, y- do you want to go down um, some of the uh, the guests that are going to be there? Yeah, well, most notably right now, Ciro Nielli is going to be there. Um, he's the uh, exec producer of the new TMNT uh, series that's currently airing on Nickelodeon. Um, that's a big name to have. Yeah, for uh, for this convention and uh again tickets are definitely a steal um but they'll also have uh cam clark's gonna be there he um 
did my favorite turtle, Leonardo's uh, voice, and he also did Rocksteady's voice. Um, I'm only going to be covering the TMNT voice talents because, uh, well, uh, I don't care about the rest. Um, then there's a uh, uh, Townsend Coleman's going to be there as well, um, which uh, you know he Ray's favorite uh, turtle. He's, he portrayed uh, Michelangelo on the original uh, series, and um, I think he did. He also do. Uh, yes, he did um, Rat King and Usagi uh, Yojimbo, and uh, he did Razar as well. Very interesting. In, in I didn't the, know he did Razar. In the one, the one episode that the mm-hmm. and Razar were in, yeah. And uh, I want to say there was somebody else. Um, but regardless, you know, uh, Matthew Mollock is gonna, also going to be there. Um, and he was a writer. And uh, he, he was a writer. He wrote scripts, right. So um, it's pretty phenomenal cast. I mean... And the, the majority of it is going to be TMNT related. I mean, most of the guest lists had their hands in either the ori- well, the, all the original the, the original series since it's eighties uh, centric. So um, it's pretty impressive. And I mean, you'd be you'd be a fool if you're in the Torrance, California area, not to go to this wonderful event. I agree, absolutely. absolutely. Uh, Ray, you uh, you have any uh, plans to uh, head out for this uh, con? Unfortunately, I do not, but I would love the opportunity to be able to speak with Sierra Neely. He's just, uh, he's doing a great job on the new series, and it took, it took a long time man, for it to come back, and it's coming back with over two to three million viewers a week. Um, so that's one person I would definitely like to meet. But he had that interesting article. I know you guys are looking to speak of it on uh, USA Today. Yeah, where he was speaking basically about the new show. Yeah, but, so yeah, let's, definitely let's, that, uh, that's one of the names that sticks out. And yeah. I definitely did like uh, Cam Clark. I would definitely like to see him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet, I bet. Uh, and he uh, and 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 even uh, Townsend Coleman. I mean, uh, I, I know he st- he can still nail the uh, the Michelangelo voice too. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, they they do have really quickly. They do have a couple of. Uh, of uh you know limited edition uh you know special uh tickets that you can get um a power pass and a uh <laughs> roast gobble dinner package <laughs> um, which hey if you can afford the roast gobble dinner package do go, it cuz that's awesome go for it <laughs> um and uh so yeah tickets for those are going to be limited um but uh, you do get some some special uh uh, privileges. So um, we have begun initial talks to see if uh, we could make it out. Um, we will see. Um, it, it, we still got some time. So uh, um, yeah, we're 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 gonna see what we can do. We're gonna see if we can make it out. So because, like like you said, Ray. I mean, it's you know it's it's gonna be a, a great opportunity to be able to speak with some of these turtle greats. So um, I agree. Uh, all right, so um, let, let's go ahead and, and talk about uh, that that article that you mentioned. Uh, that uh, it just came out yesterday as we're recording. Um, it is uh, an, a a good, I mean, a, a revealing interview uh, with um, Zero. Um, it, it's it's a uh, talks about the the you know the new series and um, dropped a couple bombshells, uh, didn't he? Uh, yeah, I, I for me, I mean, biggest one for me uh, was uh, a a turtles reunion um, with the eighty seven uh, turtles. So, oh, yeah. uh, I mean, obviously, first thing I think of is is <laughs> turtles forever. Um, but uh, I don't. I, I'm not sure what they're gonna do about this. This is a, it's gonna be a one hour special, uh, and it's it's gonna have all the. Uh, I, I don't know how they're gonna do it in universe. You know what I mean? Uh, they because Turtles Forever that was, you know, the whole uh, movie was you know kind of based on how they did this. So I don't know how they're gonna do a, just a one hour special to kind of explain how the turtles of the two thousand twelve series would interact with the eighty seven series. But uh I don't know. What do you guys think? I it's 
who knows? <laughs> I mean, it, it it didn't it wasn't it didn't work out badly for um for the two K three series. So um, I don't know what they're gonna do. If if they do something like that, that'd be great. I don't even know how they're gonna work it in. I mean, we're it's still so early into the into the series. I don't. I have no idea how they're gonna work these guys in. Right. Because what... you think of the two K three series at the. I mean, they had already been to space. They had you know. Right. <laughs> gone from different universes. I mean, mm-hmm. they, you know, there, there's, they, you know, were totally, you know, they had gone in forward in time and come back. <laughs> you know, right. they, they, they had done so many like sci-fi things where at this point in this series, uh, they've got aliens on mm-hmm. earth, but, oh, spoilers, by the way. <laughs> in case. You can't say spoiler. <laughs> I don't know. It just seemed like it seemed appropriate. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I, you know, who knows? Maybe it could be something that the uh, that uh, the crane can uh, be involved in. I'm, not, I really don't know. Um, what do you think, Ray? I definitely would like to see it as they come back as original turtles characters, but they haven't necessarily revealed it. Um, if they come back as original actors, like as Ninja Turtles, or they're doing it kind of, um, like kind of like a space travel type of thing, um, like how you said in the TMNT Forever movie, mm. that that would be interesting to see that. Um, so, will they do it? I'm not sure. Right. It's, it's so interesting. That's a very good point because in the article it doesn't say that the 87. TMNT will be in there, but the actors who portrayed them will be in. That's right. Yeah. Isn't that right? Mm-hmm. That, that's am I reading that that's, correctly? That's yeah. That, that's correct. Okay. Uh, well, um, I don't know. Yeah. Well, no, no. It, 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 wait, hold on, because it says the second season of TMNT will feature a one-hour special with special cameos by the original voice actors from the 1987 cartoon cartoon in their old roles oh okay so, so yes that, they're they're implying that they are going to be in their old okay. roles okay so it is, okay That's, it's gonna be interesting to see them in the nickelodeon type of anime animation from the older characters i know yeah. That's your great. absolutely yeah, good point i mean all we got was that one very like one second long where michelangelo's head kind of turned into the <laughs> <laughs> the 87. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was hilarious. Um, so, yeah, man. I, it's Who knows? I mean, that's really good, though, that we, can, <laughs> that we just I, can't I, figure it out. I think it's out. a great way to pay respect to the, to the original series and to pay respect to the fans of the original series. So I'm, I'm pro. I'm good for it. Like, I, I mean... <sighs> I, I, I find I, it's hard for me to find a way or to think of a way that this is going to be a bad thing. Like I, I can't no, think of it. No, there's it's nothing just, nothing bad about this at all. This is this no. is going to be great. <laughs> um, uh, okay. So in addition, uh, we found out that uh, we're going to have a an action figure great. Uh, one of the most infamous uh, action figures that there were from the original line, uh, Mutagen Man, is going to be coming into the show. Uh, awesome, first of all. Yep. <laughs> um, I so are, does that mean that uh, they're going to be coming out with a new version of Mutagen Man? Is it going to be exactly like the original old version? Uh, of Mutagen Man, you know, we'll, we'll see. Um, I mean, we've seen modern incarnations of old characters be significantly different. Yes. Um, Leatherhead, Baxter Stockman. I mean, Baxter's changed and Leatherhead have changed multiple Rat. times. Yeah, Rat, Rat King, King was your, drastic. Your boy Rat King. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, General Trog, they completely rechanged them. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, they did. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see what they what they do. But, uh, I mean, this is just another example of why uh, Ciro is just so perfect uh, for this role. Um, I mean, he is a fan, you know. 
Um, this it, this right. is why this is why uh, the Clone Wars worked out so well um, because Dave Filoni was a fan. You know that that they get it, they get why their respective uh, shows uh, what they need to have, what they need to do to be great, and they are nailing it. Uh, it's it's uh, it's great. It's just a great thing. It's a great time to be a turtle fan. Uh, you guys talk. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna calm down over here. <laughs> uh, well, well um, from the from, from the interview that they had with him too, I'm I'm really glad to see that he has big things in store for Baxter Stockman because that's one of the one of the one of the the villains right now that I feel um, isn't where he should be. But I guess he's really building him up, so um, I'm, I'm excited to see what he's going to be doing with Baxter Stockman here in the future. Because Baxter was one of my favorites uh, in the original series too. So I think this could be the episode where we see Baxter Stockman uh, turn into the bug. Yep. Ah. Yeah, that's uh, is that the debut tonight? I believe, right? As we're recording. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. So. We'll see. Um, so uh, we'll have a link to uh, to this um, news story in our show notes. Um, uh, if you're if you're listening to the podcast right now and your your device has the ability to do that, you can check it out right now. Um, and obviously, of course, I should have mentioned it earlier. We'll definitely have a link to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles dot com. Man, that's so cool! You guys got that name. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, we'll have that uh, available uh, as well. So, um, and to the the power dash con dot com. Should man, I am slacking. Okay, um, let's uh, let's let's go to uh, an, I guess a news story. It's it's actually a, a, a contest that's going on right now. Um, the uh, I first saw this on uh, on Twitter uh, from um, the uh, from the official uh, Turtles uh, feed um, that uh, they were sponsoring <laughs> through a, a website called Threadless dot com a, uh, a a Ninja Turtles um, design contest and uh, uh, it's. I believe all of the submissions are um, are in now, and and now we're they, we're at the point. Um, they're so amazing. <laughs> they, have you have you have you taken a look at any of these any of these submit? They're they are absolutely phenomenal. One of my I, my favorite right now is it's the best buds one with Rocksteady and Bebop. And it's like a it's like a two piece like you know those little lockets the yeah. hot lockets yeah and it's got best buds it's got it's <laughs> the, the 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 actual like drawing isn't like fantastic but it's such a great idea I love it that's my favorite one yeah it's it's uh that's a great one there's uh I, <laughs> I like the uh, the uh, the turtle in the trench coat um, that's actually excellent. Like, yeah, that is really well done, and I mean, I, I haven't actually looked at it up close. Do we know who that's supposed to be, or is it just a turtle? So we don't like it could be any turtle. I guess it could be any turtle, but um, I mean, if I'm thinking from, see, it all depends, right? It all depends on which which one you think of first. If you think of the original movie, then it's Raph. If you think of yeah. the action figures, then it's Donatello. Uh, if you think about the animated series, it could be any of them. <laughs> any of them. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I also like the uh, the the weapons down design where it spells out like TMNT kind of like in a uh, uh, it's got a bow and a uh, a sword uh, yeah. crossed and then it has um, uh, the, f- the T the two T's made from size and then the M and N made from uh, nunchaku. That's, that looks so cool. Um, it's yeah, it's definitely a, a bad looking shirt right there. Yeah. So uh, what I what I'm not sure on is can you 
purchase any of these at this time or is it a uh or is it that you have to vote and then see which one wins and then you can purchase that i'm not sure uh i would hope you can purchase any of these because there are some great great designs on here and it would be a shame that you could only purchase one right i, I want that best bud shirt so bad <laughs> so bad <laughs> Um, I mean, there's multiple pages here. You know, this isn't just a, a one, you know, just a, a couple. There are a ton. Um, oh, yeah. There's, uh, yeah, there's, <laughs> um, you know, ho- it's, it, yeah, it's it's great. It's great. Well, so um, vote for uh, the best buds coming from Alex because he said so. And let's rep Jen from Chicago, who is the artist of that amazing T-shirt, because uh, I love it very much. And she got yeah. my vote. Yeah. Yeah, all of these designs you can rate from so, one to five. There you go. And, uh, and, uh, and, yeah, there's, there's, there's a Ninja Turtles uh, dressed as the Ghostbusters. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah there's yeah there's a couple crossovers there's uh there's one where uh shredder bebop and rock city are dressed in suits um I, I, like, lo- I love the foot ninja with the action figures like the <laughs> like the Raphael and the casey action figure and he's like playing he's pulling out of his toy box and he's got a bunch of mousers in it it's really yeah, funny yeah um, that Michelangelo uh, one mutation with extra cheese is pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, there's a couple on here that have, you know, the actual uh, artists, you know, actual Raphael and and Michelangelo and uh, Donatello. And, but, uh, yeah, man, there's some there's some there's some good ones here. So check it out. Uh, well, again, we'll put a, a link in the show notes. Um, it's, it's threadless.com slash TMNT slash submissions. So, uh, the next news story is, uh, 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 our friend, uh, Mitch Dyer over at IGN. Uh, he, uh, was, he got the opportunity to, uh, watch some, some gameplay of, uh, of the, the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles out of the shadows. And, uh, uh, it's it's still some pre-alpha gameplay, but um, uh, so they didn't they didn't get to play it themselves. Uh, but it, it definitely was uh, able to give you an idea of of what the gameplay is going to be like. Um, what the uh, now they, and and we did find out some new things because they were able to talk to the developer uh, and uh, get some answers. So um, we will have a link to that in the show notes as well definitely encourage you to check this out uh we're going to uh have the opportunity to play this not too not too long from now um it's uh still scheduled to come out this summer so um yeah that footage was awesome yeah yeah it's it's (laughs) it's it's gonna be a fun game you know you can definitely tell that (laughs) uh the turtles pairing up like doing uh, combination moves it looks really really fun yes so they're gonna have uh co-op opportunities uh i believe both locally and online i know online for sure so um, it it will be both uh it's gonna be two local and four uh online there you go so it's it's gonna be so amazing to play with all your friends online. Each one of you pick your favorite turtle, and if you have the same favorite turtle, then, well, uh, you know, you guys can resolve that, I guess, in <laughs> your own way. But it's uh, it's gonna be it's it's gonna it looks really good. Um, I really hope they do because I mean it, it's a time crunch. Uh, right now for them to get it out um so i hope that the final development doesn't suffer uh from it and that everything is polished and smooth and uh but um you know that's uh, that's that's i guess we'll find out um and i'm not expecting an incredibly lengthy game either since it's going to be you know download but i guess we'll see yeah the uh, really like how each turtle has their own kind of fighting style too. Mm-hmm. Um, 
Mikey. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> rap, rap power bombing was amazing. <laughs> right. So Raph, they kind of made him kind of more like a, uh, or like an MMA fighter. Uh, a lot of elbows. I mean, which makes sense. He's got the shortest weapon. He's got to get in close. Um, Mikey, uh, with his nunchucks, the fastest weapon. Um, he's he's the quickest character. Uh, and then um, Leo, he's he's the more balanced, I guess. And then Don, I think he's probably the slowest, but he's got the longest weapon. So, I mean, it's perfect. I'd say great design choices uh, for all the characters. And and Ray, like you said, the the combos that you can do, and it's not just all four. There's there's two uh, player combos as well. Because there's a and there's a isn't there a video of, of one turtle throwing another turtle or something? Yeah, uh, Donatello and Michelangelo. Michelangelo's grabbing onto his bow staff, and Donatello's swinging him and then, like, just slingshotting him across towards a uh, foot soldier. Yes. <laughs> that is so cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's so it is. Cool. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. And, it, and an interesting thing, from based on what I, I was I was listening to from from Mitch uh, during the um, – during the review uh is uh or the preview was um that it's based on the the current nick series like world mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yes yeah there was some confusion about that because um the right when we first saw it it looked nothing like the animated series <laughs> right and it and it still is not going to look like the the animated series uh, they did state, though, that the um, the character models will be, uh, uh, I guess, updated and, and altered. You know, as as we get closer to the game, it's they're not going to look as kind of gritty as as they were in that first um, trailer. So, uh, but yeah, like you said, it, it is going to be in their universe. Right. So uh, I guess we can expect to see some of those same villains. Um, you know, you're going to have the uh, the Krang, not the Utrams. Um, it, it's yeah, no, it's it's uh, interesting. Uh, to, I'm trying to think if this if we've seen this before, if we've seen um, incarnations of the turtles. Where I guess you could kind of say. TMNT <clears throat> because that movie was in the universe of the live action movies yet it looked a lot different um, I'm trying to think if there's any other examples of that but um, it, it looks great though it doesn't matter <laughs> it, it really they- doesn't matter because it just looks it looks tremendous so would you guys would you guys like to see the characters changed more to look like the Nickelodeon uh characters or do you like the you, you, you like know, the reptile look somewhat? I I actually like the uh the look. Um I even the original one it's different. It's it's a lot different obviously, but um I Different is okay, you know. Different is 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 is. I mean, we've had so many different <laughs> variations of the turtles. Uh, what so, would you like to see the movie Ninja Turtles? How would you like the characters to look? Do you want them to look like the Nickelodeon characters, ooh. the the first movie characters, or two thousand three characters? <laughs> Ray, Ray, we're gonna have to keep having you come on the show because you you, you got some good questions, buddy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh Thank you. goodness gracious that is a that is a good question um i can't stop thinking about how they're gonna look at this ninja turtles movie like are they gonna yeah. make them yeah look like um, reptiles or are they gonna make them look like cartoons or really i would prefer and i don't mind if they look like the original characters from the movie because yeah. you know I, I accepted it yeah um, I, I I think we're gonna see because I think we're gonna see more turtle realistic looking uh, uh, turtles based on I the agree. script that we read. They're gonna be incredibly big. If that if that if if they stay true to what we read, they're gonna be. I mean, what was what was the size, Ryan? I mean, they were huge. 
Yeah, oh, well, in the original, yeah, in right. the uh, the draft script that uh, leaked, yeah, they were like... Six foot, six something. Six, like, yeah, they were, uh, yeah, something like six six or something like that. They were... They were they power were, forwards in the NBA. <laughs> <laughs> they were they were huge yeah and and they were considered short because when they went to the other um the other universe uh and they ran into the other um the other turtles or the other you know the rest of them that uh <clears throat> they were even bigger so um yo Oh my goodness! Look who decided to wake up. What? Shut up, man. <laughs> what uh, Darby. Um, yeah, dude. I I asked you what time we were starting, and you're all I was sending you an email. When you could have literally just sent the time, it would have been much shorter and faster. <laughs> uh, Ray, Darby, Darby, Ray. Nice to meet you. Hi, Ray. <laughs> Hello. How's it going, Darby? I dude just woke up. I hate everybody <laughs> sending me texts and you know, and messages. Oh goodness. Well, um Darby, uh I don't, we, I don't work like you guys. <laughs> what? We are currently talking about the Out of the Shadows uh video. Yeah, it's it's gonna be a great game. Uh, looking forward to whatever uh we get, you know, as far as preview materials for the for the game. Uh, it's going to be, it's, oh, man, uh, we'll definitely be having, we're going to have to do some, uh, you know, some live commentary on the game. Uh, I'll get the, the four of us, uh, on and, and play, um, you know, it, it, it's, yeah, it's going to be great. Looking it's going to be fantastic. To I, I hope, I hope, I don't know that they're going to, since it's going to be a downloadable game, but, uh, I'd like to get a demo soon. I don't know if that's going to happen because the. Yeah, Redfly. Release date uh, so soon, but would like to. Redfly, if you're listening, yes, uh, we'd love to uh, take a take a uh, a look at the the, the beta if, if uh, or alpha if you got uh, uh, any. I'd uh, <laughs> uh, love to review it for you and uh, or preview it for you. So. Uh, I love how we act like we uh, like we act as if we had so much influence on the. <laughs> hey, we are influential members of the Turtles Media. Absolutely, uh, we are. Turtles. So listen, Red Flag Press. I guess. <laughs> sure, we are. I well, actually, that that would be more of Ray than us, but. <laughs> 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 so, uh, uh, but, all right. So, let's let's uh, let let's do the big story here. Um, our Ninja Turtles update. Uh, first of all, uh, we've got two filming locations identified. Um, now, Ray, you're you're from the uh, the Northeast, aren't you? Yes, from Michigan. Okay, you're from Michigan, and is that where you you're, you're currently um, living? You live in Michigan. Yes, I reside in Michigan. Okay, and. Uh, guys, you, you have to remind me, does the, isn't the, the script start in Michigan? The, uh, the draft script of Ninja Turtles? I, th- I want to say that was. Yeah, I think so. it, it was somewhere. It, it, it didn't start in New York. I know that much for a fact. Uh, I think you might be right. Um, I mean, Tupper Lake, New York looks very much like a, a Michigan area. Yeah, um, Noah Falls. Uh, does that sound familiar? Noah Falls, Noah Michigan? Falls? No, it doesn't. No. They, they may have just uh, made it up. I'm made sure. that up? <laughs> Maybe. Tupper Lake, right? It's, it's – yes, you are correct. It is a uh, – there is a scene in the, in the script um, with the – near the factory that – that Casey works at where there's a big battle with the, and they go down onto the lake. So yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking of too. Now we should state though, that Tupper Lake, um, is, uh, it's, it's upstate New York. It's in the Adirondacks, uh, Adirondack mountains. It's actually a ski resort up there that they're going to be filming in. So, um, you know, it's, it, that's the only thing I can think of was that scene as well. Um, was that whole that whole battle 
that uh, took place uh, after the the factory and everything. So. <clears throat> well, that makes sense based on. I mean, you saw some of the like the uh, the stunt cars that they that they showed and things like that. Mm-hmm. Um, so that that would make sense. The stunt cars looked awesome, by the way. Yeah, and yeah, we've got a couple of links to some uh, local um, uh, some local press uh, in in the area. And uh, we'll put these links in the show notes, uh, like all the other links. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I just say that every time. Um, uh, but yeah, they they interview people uh, that live there and and everything. And uh, Alex, as I think you tweeted out that this is one of the the really good things, you know, about the movie is that it's it's bringing in some some much needed uh, For com- us. commerce into the area that uh that yeah, i guess that area was kind of hurting a little bit so um, three, three movies in three years in that area so that's that's good yeah yeah for them anyway yeah so um, hey that's that's the most positive thing that, that i've heard out of this turtle movie so far <laughs> so well I, I i i will contest that actually um and that, that i'll contest that in a minute here um uh, a, a second uh, filming location has been identified as Jones Beach. Uh, Jones Beach, New York. It's on Long Island. It's about 20 miles uh, east of New York City proper. Um, and uh, they haven't even started shooting there yet. They're about to. So uh, uh, if any of you guys are in the... Uh, um, Northeast, uh, if any, any of our listeners uh, or, or any of our hosts feel like traveling over to uh, New York uh, and you want to try to get on to the set or uh, try to be an extra or anything like that, that uh, there's still a chance you could mm-hmm. be in a Ninja Turtles movie. Or you could just sneak in and take pictures and then post them on the internet so we can uh, <laughs> see them. That works too. Uh, <clears throat> We do not condone trespassing or breaking the law, but we're saying that it's not an awful idea either. So go ahead. <laughs> Very or good. hurting Michael Bay in any way possible as well. No, no. It's, but he's um, got the super bionic Megan Fox to protect him, so it's, it's never going to happen. <laughs> Probably got like an army of those. <laughs> uh, oh, jeez. Ray, you were, you were asking earlier about uh, what we would think of as far what what – what version of the turtles do we think we will see in this movie? Um, yes. Personally, see, if I think of uh, Transformers, it's a little easier because they're machines, right? Um, yes. Making an animated version of a machine still looks like a machine. Um, with the turtles, it's since they're biological... Um, you can always run into the uncanny valley and, and, and it, it kind of give you kind of a weird feeling when, when you're seeing them on the big screen. But, um, personally, I would prefer something similar to the original movies, uh, as well. Um, you know, something where did they, they look like they could be real. I mean, that's what was so great about those. Um, you know, I mean, obviously a lot of history behind the Jim Henson company and, and their work in the original movie, um, the original two movies. Um, and, but you know, they didn't look like they were, um, just, they didn't look fake. They looked real. They looked like they could just, that you would just see that walking down the street. Like, um, so that's the only thing I want to. I, I hope that they avoid is is that when they are doing this movie, that the turtles don't look fake. Exactly. I don't, I don't want them to be gigantic. I don't want them to be tiny. I, I want them to look real. So exactly. I'd also like them to not look roided up like they did in the uh, the help me out here the live action show that the fifth turtle. Who we don't speak of showed up in. Ah, yes. <laughs> you're, you're, you mean your uh, your secret <laughs> admirer movie was sorry. 22 years was... ago, so you think that they could make something a lot better? But sorry, Alex, I know you're about to give your intake on it. No, no, no. Um, I was just thinking of the fifth turtle that we do not speak of uh, in relation to Darby. But um, <laughs> no, you. 
Uh, I, again, I, I think they're going to be realistic looking uh, <laughs> turtles to the point where they're more rep, reptilian than 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 humanoid. Like, I think they're going to look more like actual turtles. <sighs> I, I would I would prefer more of a human form, but I don't know. I just don't know what we're gonna get. I, I, that's scary, but exciting at the same time. Um, so uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I I I, I mean, Mar- right now my question about the whole movie is I, I'm really curious to see what Will Arnett's gonna do. But I guess we're gonna get to that. So I'm sorry if I jumped ahead. No, no, that's fine. That's <laughs> fine. Um, so. Uh, that's that's our next uh oh i should just mention jones beach is an actual beach so as far as what that location how that corresponds to what we have read in the uh the draft script i can't think of uh anything off the top of my head um as far as how that would play in um can you guys think of anything um Maybe a surfing uh, action scene or something Ooh. like that. <laughs> That'd be so sweet. They're going to surf all the way from Michigan to New York. <laughs> well, if it's like uh, Ninja Turtles 3, the video game, they surf yeah, from Florida go. to New York. So, um, so anyway, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how that location fits in, um, which, yeah, does lead us into – uh, some of the uh, some of the big news that that hit that uh, our our turtles have been cast uh, all four turtles. It was originally uh, stated that uh, Raphael had been cast, um, but uh, now all four turtles have been cast. So um, let's see. Let's just let's just talk about uh, let's talk about them one at a time. And uh, actually on. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles dot com. You guys do have a uh, a, uh, a, a a great picture up um, showing uh, who all four turtles are. So yes, um, thank you. Yeah, it's uh, and and a and a nice uh, article about uh, the location of uh, um, Tupper Lake. So mm-hmm. um, all right, so let's let's go through them one <laughs> at a time here. Um, Raphael is going to be played by Alan. <clears throat> Let me Richson R I T C H S O N Alan uh, Alan yeah Alan Richson yep yeah. and he is of note because of um, he is in the the upcoming um, movie um, uh, help me out here it's uh, Hunger uh, it's Hunger, uh, Hunger, Hunger Games, Games. Yes. Catching Fire he was also one of the what, I think one of the uh, he was in uh, he was Aquaman in um, in Smallville. Which is kind of cool. Ah. Yes. So, <laughs> what would Aquaman be doing in Kansas? He's useless out there. Look, there's water everywhere. Okay, it was raining. Not in Kansas. It rains in Kansas. There's no fish. He talks to fish. <laughs> he, he brings a pet goldfish along. Look, don't don't argue the schematics of <laughs> Aquaman in Kansas. Um, it, it's yeah, it's not going to be an argument that it's going to go anywhere. <laughs> he's uh, he was also in Blue Mountain State. Uh, yes, I don't know if any of you guys watch. I watched Blue Mountain State some, some of it, and uh, he was in that as well. So uh, he was pretty good in that. And uh, he's like a isn't he like a model and stuff too or. Well, I don't follow that side of it. Uh, you may. Um. <laughs> uh, I just remember looking up some of his work on, online, and uh, you know, it's, since he's going to be playing uh, my turtle, uh, try to get to know him a little bit. But um, so <laughs> that sounded so wrong. So stop it. Uh, so anyway, uh, moving on, we've got Pete Plazek. P L O S Z E K. It's Pete Plachek. And there you go. <laughs> Pete Plachek. Uh, he is going to be playing uh, Leonardo. So uh, where have we uh, where have we seen Pete before? Uh, we really haven't seen him anywhere, <laughs> unless you watched Parks and Recreation. And he was in one random episode. Um, and uh, that's all I could find on this guy. And yeah, that's my favorite turtle. So awesome. Interesting choice, right? Um, 
I mean, all of these char- all of these actors are relative unknowns. Some of them very unknown. Um, interesting choice, considering they went with Megan Fox, who everybody knows for a good reason or not. Uh, <coughs> and uh, what you mentioned earlier, another uh, actor that's been cast, who's also, I mean, uh, you know, a big name. So, and yet the four turtles are relative unknowns. So, oh, right. I mean, Alan Richen has a little notoriety, but not much. And um, uh, Noel Fisher, uh, which I'm not sure if that's who's next, but he's got. He was in in a recent movie, and he's he's he, he was he's been in a couple big, uh, well, a couple blockbusters. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, um, Ray, what do you know about uh, about uh, your? Your uh, your Michelangelo actor. Well, I know he was in the movie Battle Los Angeles, and I got to see, I seen that movie, and I didn't really get to see much of him. But I just think to myself, what made these characters uh, or these actors get picked for these characters? Was it their physical qualifications? Because they're not going to be really seen; they're going to be only in CGI animated. Mm-hmm. Um, I just wonder what qualifications went into play for these people to get picked. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a great question um, because you know they're going to have to be doing flips, of this and that in the movie. So mm-hmm. I just wonder what it is. Yeah, no, ab- absolutely, great point. What uh, and it, which me- leads me to wonder uh, what kind of CG are they actually going to be using? Are they still going to continue to use the face replacement and then have um, have them wear costumes? Or are they going to do full body, you know, like uh, Planet of the Apes you know, or, or, or Gollum, where it's, it's full body replacement? Um, uh, of course, the, just the face replacement, that was made famous uh, in um, Pirates of the Caribbean with... Uh, uh, Davy Jones. Davy Jones. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. So, uh, <laughs> uh, Noel Fisher, also famous for uh, um, the the last Twilight movie. Yes. Uh, uh, that's he was actually, great in that. Yeah. No, he is. He's uh, he plays uh, Vladimir. Um, he's uh, kind of a, it was like a Transylvanian. I mean, it's it's funny because it's a movie about vampires and it's like the one that that's actually from like Transylvania. He was witty and a little bit. Yeah, he was with you and a little bit of a smartass, but yeah. uh, you know that 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 kind of personality may work. That's I, one I, thing that I, I'm really hoping that they keep the turtles' personalities in this movie. I I, I can't see how they wouldn't. Well, you know, but, uh, that was something that was really lacking in that script too. Right. Um, so I I agree. I really hope that they that they they don't get rid of that because that is what makes everyone have a favorite turtle. Right. Um, I d- I don't like Raphael because he has size. Because he has right, he has farming equipment. That's why would anybody want somebody who has uh, you know. seriously? <laughs> Ray, this is what I have to deal with all the time. Um, so Although, to anyway, be fair, it makes it far more plausible that Raphael would find weapons at the farm in the movie. So yeah, but he finds weapons for everyone. I, well, I think he you, makes them. Yeah, he like just kind of. Which still doesn't make sense to me. No. Uh, what about uh, Jeremy <laughs> Howard, your uh, your future Donatello? Uh, where have we seen him before, Darb? I, I can tell you exactly where you've seen him. If you, it, and it's so funny too because when I looked up pictures of the guy, I instantly recognized him from the Drew Carey show, where he showed up for about five minutes in one episode. <laughs> really? He, yeah. There was this great episode where, if you've ever watched the Drew Carey show. Um, Lewis and Oswald both slept with the same girl, and they were arguing over who who was the father of, of Jeremy Howard's character. And he looked exactly like Ryan Styles. It was ridiculous. I he's can see just that. a tall, lanky, dorky-looking dude. Um, he's only done small parts in TV shows. Drew Carey shows. He was in an episode of Scrubs. Uh, My name is Earl. Uh, nothing this really. Guy's been big. in everything, but yeah, he's been but in everything. He has. He's he been a- in. He was also in Break. Bad for an episode too, and he's he's been on he both sides of the part dark and, and uh, light side of the coin. He had a funny part in that movie, accepted. He was uh, blowing things up with his mind. I don't know if you got to see that. Oh, uh, okay. Yep. 
I mean, he 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 definitely looks like the the tall, lanky guy you'd expect. I guess Donatello because of the new series to look like. Mm-hmm. I can seriously see him spewing out a bunch of you know brainy jargon. <laughs> Tall, lanky-looking dude. Sounds a lot like our host, actually. Um. Oh, stop it. <laughs> you know where, where I remember Jeremy from the most is you remember Men in you, Men in Black Two. You remember uh, the uh, the postal scene where um, Will Smith uh, opens up the uh, the copier and there's or the the sorting machine and there's an alien with like fifty hands. I'm exaggerating, but uh, like sorting all the mail. Yeah. yeah, that was Jeremy. Huh. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, he's he's been in a lot. He's just been had these these small roles in just a lot of movies or a lot of TV shows and movies. So good for him. He's getting a big role. He he's paid his dues. Well, now this will be the big question: Will 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 they get the notoriety, or will they just kind of be kind of pushed to the background? I, I mean, obviously they'll be there, but will 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 we be able to tell that that's them? Well, it depends on the kind of animation. That, right. I mean, that goes back to what kind of CGI they're I still, use. I still think they should, they'll probably end up going like the Avatar route. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Uh, I'm still thinking that's what they're going to end up doing. Well, what do you mean by that? Well, you know, the technology they used in Avatar. <laughs> not, not the last airbender. Okay. Like the actual Avatar James Cameron movie, number one movie ever made. So you're thinking think, full body. Full yeah, body I'm thinking full body with like, the ca- you know how they had those cameras that looked directly at their face the entire time. Mm-hmm. I think I'm thinking that's probably what they'll end up doing. I think it's the route they probably should go. Uh, you know, but I'm telling you, looking at these guys, I mean, I think the only one that's going to get notoriety is Raphael because I mean he's a pretty good looking guy. So if oh, go he, that he's, route, he's 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 incredibly quite attractive. The gentleman, he's quite the he, handsome he, gentleman. You could say it. He's sexy. That's fine, <laughs> and. I can't, he's I'm got not married. Like two guys are. <laughs> he's got he's got a big movie coming up too. Uh, so that's gonna that hopefully that helps build some hype for this turtle movie too. Yeah. Because he's gonna be in in the next Hunger Games and he plays a pretty big role. So that's true. That's true. Um, overall, uh, let let's say uh, uh, overall, I I mean I think that the the casting we'll we'll just have to wait and see. Um, interesting as long choices. as the turtles aren't giant racial stereotypes, uh, I think these guys should do a good job playing each turtle. Yeah, uh, I know right now, stated on, on uh, IMDb, Alan Richson, which is Raphael, is going to be the only one that's going to be voicing and acting his character at the moment. Really? Yeah, that is interesting. So, huh. That. that that could almost be a shout out to the uh, to the original movie where Raph was the only one in costume and voiced himself as well. Exactly, uh, Jonathan Pius. Wow, that's a uh, that's yeah, wow, that's quite the uh, the detail there. Um, hmm. Um, wow. Okay. Well. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, maybe. Hopefully, we do hear some uh, some tidbits while uh, while he's on the uh, the press junkets for uh, uh, catching fire there. So, uh, is it and just th- me, or does coffee taste better coming out of a Ninja Turtle mug than any no, other coffee mug? No, you're you're correct. That, Sorry, I'm drinking coffee right now since I just woke up. <laughs> so good. And so, uh, lastly, um, we've got uh, Will Arnett of. Uh, of uh, for me, Arrested Development fame. Uh, yeah, maybe maybe yeah. Baxter Stockman. Ooh, oh, that well, is a cool you know. Dream. See, here's the big question, right? We don't know what his role is. Uh, I mean, with with Megan Fox, the role wasn't specifically stated. However, mm-hmm. everyone just assumed April, and they haven't said else they haven't said uh that she's not so uh everyone is still assuming that she's playing april um but with will uh it's not so clear cut what uh, what character will will arnett be playing i mean will arnett is known for his comedy i mean he's yep. he's a funny dude <laughs> yeah um, he is uh i loved him in blaze of glory i loved him in blaze of glory <laughs> he was so funny <laughs> Um, it, it's, uh, yeah, you know, <laughs> it's, it's really a, uh, 
it's really a, a, a mystery. Um, will he be, um, will he be, uh, what we know of as, as, as open, um, characters we've got, you know, splinter and we've got shredder. Uh, I don't think so. Schrader. Uh, sure. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. Schrader. Um, will, uh, will he fill either of those <laughs> roles or will he fill in a new, another role that we don't know of yet? Um, I, can, I could kind of see him. I mean, since I've been watching the 87 series, I could kind of see him being shredder a little bit, not the horribly evil shredder that, you know, from the 2003 series or maybe the, the current series It's just, you watch the 87 series, which a lot of people seem to favor because they grew up with it. Shredder's a bit ridiculous. I'm trying to think of based on what we read in the, in the, uh, um, in that script. And it's... well, they said for sure he's not Casey, which we figured anyway. He's too old to be Casey. Oh, absolutely. Well, um, Megan Fox is too old to be. Able. Yeah, I was about to say <laughs> well, that. <laughs> maybe, maybe because they never confirmed, like you said, that she's April. Maybe she's a surprise Venus de Milo in the new movie. <laughs> it could happen. Good. I haven't had enough coffee to put up with that Venus de Milo. <laughs> Ray, Ray, what are your thoughts on Venus de Milo? On who exactly? On Venus de Milo, that was the character that uh, the the fifth female turtle that was in the live action um, TV show that they had. That was kind of like late '90s. It came after the uh, um, next mutation. Yeah, uh, it was called the next yeah. mutation. Yeah, that's oh yeah, it's exhibit. I with that uh, next mutation series, it didn't necessarily. Um, it was my least favorite, I guess I could say, of uh, all the incarnations. You you are in the majority with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't really have too much thought on it, to be honest. You know, I've seen them once. You know, yeah. didn't really didn't really rewatch it to have much of a That's... take on. Well, that, you you, uh, you, should be, you should be commended for making it through it once. So. Yeah. <laughs> um, I... The best parts of that whole series were the the Power Ranger mashups, and yeah. that's that's, that's yeah. that. That's true. So, yeah, yeah, you can find those. Uh, they have them on Netflix, and they ha- you can just watch them on YouTube too. So. No, don't don't do it. Just don't. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it. Even though the the Power Ranger ones are the best ones. Um, would you, okay? <clears throat> would you suggest people watch at least the the Turtle Power Ranger crossover episode? No. If 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 you want to know what we're talking about and you throw caution to the wind, then watch <laughs> it. Um, but uh, we are, yeah, don't don't just don't do that to yourself. If there's if, not if there's not some sort of snuff film you've been wanting to watch for a while, or some horror movie with a bunch of torture scenes in it, you know, if, you, if there's nothing if else, go really for got it. nothing else to do. Okay, so. Uh, the the joke, Ray, is that uh, Venus de Milo and, and, and Darby if uh, well she 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 likes Darby. Well, so. They've had a relationship. They've they've, they've got history. Yeah. She doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> you can fight it all Peter, you want. Darby. Peter Laird refuses to admit that she exists, so I'm right there with him. <laughs> Peter Laird refuses to talk about her. She doesn't exist. Donatello is his favorite turtle. I'm right there with him. So. Well, uh, that's uh, that's actually all the news that we have uh, for for this episode. Um, it's uh, it's it's definitely uh, you know every day now. It seems like um, that there's something else coming out, and uh, it's it's you know I keep saying it, it's a great time to be a turtle fan. We did want to uh, provide some uh, some fan feedback. Uh, one of our uh, big fans, uh, Lewis, um, he's uh, at the Lewis guy on Twitter. Um, he uh, he wanted to thank us uh, for representing IDW's uh, TMNT uh, comic series uh, on the uh, on the show. Um, no, he thanked me and Alex, not you, because you are horrible. <laughs> And just not keeping up with it at all. Kind of liked it earlier in the show when. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Well, uh... well, real, real quick, Ryan. Um, before we uh, we finish this up, um, we had that that kind of like. 
Twitter thing today. Uh, we did have um, a oh, couple yeah. questions. Great, great, uh, great point. Yeah, go ahead. <clears throat> so, um, and and for future uh, for for fans that are listening now, um, you know, we 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 really want you to ask questions, and we'll address them in the show. We'll answer them for you. We'll mention. You'll give you definitely give you a mention in the show. So that's kind of fun as well. Um, one of the questions we got today was from Michelle Norland. Um, she follows us, and uh, she is um, at uh, Rochelle Norland, so uh, pretty easy. Um, she Her question was, is April going to have feelings for Donatello? If yes, I think they should have their first kiss. Wink face. So, uh, oh, cute there. that's a good – so I, I, I assume she's, she's referencing the uh, – the animated series so the current series right yes um you know that's a uh that's a good question um i think if you ask rob paulson he'd be fine with that so. <laughs> <laughs> i think you would be too the no, question it, is it, is that going to happen with um, coming in eventually you know ooh, that's a good point too because uh uh believe um and you guys let me know if 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 i'm making this up or not but i do believe that we've heard that casey does come into the series in season two mm-hmm. yes so. he does so i that i think i said that a few episodes back about what's going to happen when casey jones shows up if donatello is just going to take an instant disliking to casey because he might be stealing april from him i was wondering about that I have noticed, though, in, in recent episodes, <laughs> there there have been times where, like, the the turtles are out on the street, whatever, and then they cut back to the lair, and they're all sitting around. April's usually sitting next to Donnie, though. Am I the only one that's caught that? They're, it's usually April sitting next to Donnie, Donnie sitting... Like, they've always been sitting next to each other, like, recently in the show, every time they, like, cut back to the sewer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good point. But is it going to be, like, a scenario I think just, it should like, happen. we're really good friends... I agree. I'm all into interspecies, inter, oh, you know. That's because you are a sick, sick man. <laughs> no, like, but I mean, think it, yeah. he's whatever. Huge, whatever, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Ray, what do you think? Will we see <laughs> April and Donnie have a moment? I don't think so. Personally, I think when Casey Jones gets involved, it's going to end that. Ah, Okay. So I am also leaning on uh, towards that scenario. What will be interesting, though, is that if that were to happen, how does that – because, you know, you think of past incarnations of the Turtles. Casey and Raf were the – you know, they, they kind of butted heads, but then they You're going became right cool. where I was going to go. Yep. Right. So now – I think of the original, you know, as I said, my favorite incarnation, the uh, the movie, the original movie. You got Donnie and Casey working on the uh, on the truck or on the van, and uh, <laughs> you know, they're going down, down going the alphabet, the, going through the alphabet. But yep. I feel like that was more of a more of a playful thing. It was it was more of yep. a you know it wasn't it was there, yeah. So if this were to happen, though, if if Casey and April were to become a thing and Donnie would have to deal with that. Well, might... they also butted heads in the comics, though. There were there was a moment where the Turtles, when they were hiding out in the original comics, where Casey Jones is poke, literally like poking Donnie with a stick. And Donnie's like, just leave me alone, leave me alone. And then he he won't leave Donnie alone. So then Donnie just beats the crap out of him. Mm. That happened to me. Well, that could uh, that could very well happen uh, in the new series. It, it's going to create an interesting relationship, uh, so that's going to be exciting. I'm, I'm curious to see what's going to happen now. Now, good question. Yeah, it's a very good question. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that Donnie and April can't have a moment before that happens. See, that's the thing. I think they will. And I think that's what's going to really get Donnie 
fuming when Casey mm. comes in because Casey's going to I think Casey's going to be real suave, you know, and real like and, and he's he's going to be all over April and Donnie's not going to. I, I, I can almost already see it. Mm-hmm. I don't think yeah. he's going to be suave. I think he's just going to be B.A. and just kind of like not care. Maybe. He's going to be like he's going to be like indifferent. He's going to be like Maybe. that mysterious like B.A. guy who's like, yeah, whatever. I, I fight the foot. And just kind of maybe not even take interest. So you think more of a first or just with her when he sees her, but like just not care. He's going to play it cool. I don't see him as being suave. I see him as playing it like, yeah, whatever. I don't care. So Um, I just beat up the foot. So I mean, that's traditional. Casey is rubble with an attitude. So that could be. So let's let's look at it as far as uh, right now with Donnie and April. Donnie is was obviously the one that was more interested at the beginning. Uh, kind of started that, you know, whatever, what, what they have as, as far as a relationship goes at this point. Um, but I could see it being the other way with Casey, where it's actually April kind of falls for going him. after him. Yeah. What do you think? It, it, it's, that's a possibility. I mean, I think we should be writing this on the show. That's what I think. um maybe uh, we're we're putting together a storyboard as we speak man like this is perfect uh i know you uh, ray (laughs) that you have a fan uh uh fan art on the site uh maybe you can create a section for some uh fan fiction as well so (laughs) we'll definitely try to get to that i know before the series started they said that casey jones and april o'neill were both to be high school students so pretty Mm. soon they should be introducing casey jones and maybe everything we're talking about could happen or not (laughs) yeah yeah which yeah i mean casey's the new student and he's the rebel i can see that now yep all right well um uh, Rochelle, awesome question. Obviously, it sparked quite a debate, so thank you very much for that. Um, and uh, we have another question from our main man, Lewis from Montreal, uh, at the Lewis guy, or at yeah, at the Lewis guy. Uh, he's he. He's, of course, you know, he's a very involved in, he's a very involved fan, and we appreciate that very much. Um, and I'm glad that Darby came on since, uh, well, you are the uh, know it all for the um, comic book series, because he does have um, uh, three questions, actually. Uh, we'll see if we can get to them all. Um, no promises, Lewis. But um, <laughs> one of them is um, at TMNT Podcast, do you think we will see a Casey April Angel love triangle? In IDW TMNT. Hope not. Hashtag hope not. Hashtag only if done well. Uh, so Darby, um, you specifically, uh, do you have anything to add in this? Are you following this particular series? I mean, Angel hasn't really shown up that much, unless she's in the one of the recent ones. The last one, the when I last left off, they were just starting their giant invasion in Dimension X. But uh, the Angel's shown up a few times as. And she already knows Casey. She's a bit younger, and she knows Casey, like, right off the bat. And she's sort of kind of like as she was, I think, in the 2003 series. She's like a yeah. kid who knows her way around the, the underworld, I guess you'd say. And she – I don't see it happening. I see – because Casey and April already have a thing going mm-hmm. in the comics by now. They, they've they hung out a lot, and they've, they've flirted, and they've sort of – both insinuated that they like each other and he's made no connection of that with angel so i really don't see it happening uh with lewis i'm with him right there with hope not uh that's pretty much what i would have to say about that <laughs> okay well we yeah. will take I'll, I'll take your word for it um ryan are you at that point with this with the comic book series or have you uh no the only thing i know of um is that angel in the 2003 series was younger she was a little younger. Uh, right. She uh, she had a uh, um, Casey kind of looked after her, and mm-hmm. uh, um, but yeah, that that was really it. Well, she was significantly younger, and I mean, yeah. way too young for Casey anyway. All right. So, uh, what's the second question there, Alex? What's that? 
What's the uh, second, second question. question there? Second question. Okay, so um, the next two from from uh, from Lewis. Uh, the next one is um, also related to uh, to IDW. Um, thoughts on the uh, mystery opponent in IDW TMNT uh, number twenty one. So, uh, any thoughts on uh, the mystery opponent? I'm drawing a blank as to what he's talking about. <laughs> So uh, IDW 20 just came out, um, and uh, I, 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 I might not have read that one yet. Then. Okay, yeah, that one just that one just came out. So um, we'll what we'll do uh, is we'll we'll uh, save that question for next episode. We'll save or? that question and and we will definitely address That'll it. Work. Okay, so episode. we'll go ahead and do that, and we'll save that for next episode. The next question then is. Uh, at TMNT Podcast, will you be watching WrestleMania 29? Excited? Ooh. Too bad the Turtles aren't on the show this year. Yeah. And then he has a link to the YouTube. As you remember, they did make an appearance on uh, WrestleMania, and they were dancing up on the uh, the Raptors and all that good stuff, doing the TMNT stuff. They looked awful, but... <laughs> uh, Alex, uh, you need to send me that uh, that link. I need yeah, to you see might as well just right. put that link need, up on the Twitter. I need or to see that so right can... now. Yeah. <laughs> if you if you uh, actually if you go in on, on the show uh, and go to the connect section, you'll see the the uh, reply from Lewis, and he's got the link right on there for us, uh, and it is awesome. Okay, I'm going to sign into that right now. <laughs> um, as far as me personally, uh, I <laughs> think I'm going to watch it. Um, uh, my interest level has been going up and down uh, with regards to uh, WrestleMania this year. Um, for me, it's going to be, um, I think, uh, what, what's going what's gonna to sell it to me is, is uh, CM Punk and Undertaker. Um, I, yeah, I, I think that's what's really going to get me to, uh, to watch. But... Um, the 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 Rock Cena match was was peaking and then it kind of the interest level kind of dipped down. But last two weeks, it's definitely come back, and it, probably that has to do with the fact that Rock was actually on the show. So because right. <laughs> uh, he's been uh, he's been busy uh, uh, with uh, <clears throat> uh, promoting Joe and everything right. like that. Yeah. So. Um, but uh, yeah, no, I I I think I'm gonna watch it. It's uh, it's good. It's gonna be uh, everyone's gonna, gonna watch be it because of their uh, Taker match. I mean, that's that that's what keeps people watching WrestleMania is Taker. I mean, that that's that's what it is. That's well, what I, that's that's the only know, reason I would watch it. It's uh, they're you know he he's he is. I think that match is selling WrestleMania. I, I really yep. do. So, um, Darby, you gonna watch it? Uh. Probably not, just because, don't get me wrong, I'm a huge WWE fan, but it's just I've been watching the build-up for it. Like you said, there's really, like, I feel it's all going to be very predictable. The matches that I actually care about, I feel like I already know who's going to win those. Uh, And the build-up this year hasn't been nearly as good as, say, last year's was. I will definitely agree with that. Like, last year, you and I were at each other's throats as to who was going to win. The Rock and Cena match, and I was because right. I, well, yeah, you were right. <laughs> Shut up, it doesn't matter. Um, but who's going to win it this year? I mean, there, there hasn't been any arguing because everybody knows how it's going to go. You know, unless they do something completely off the wall that nobody sees coming, I'm really, I really have no interest really in seeing it. Like yeah. uh, Lesnar and Triple H, I mean, the build up for their match at SummerSlam was better. Yeah. Than the build up this year. It seems kind of forced this year. Yeah. Um, it's like they just realized, oh, it's it's January. We have to do the Royal Rumble now, so we can start building up to WrestleMania two months from now. Oh, what are we going to do about that? Now, so really quickly for all of the Turtle fans that are listening to this and and don't understand why that this is relevant, <laughs> is that the the Turtles do have a history with professional wrestling, so. Um, uh, you know, growing up, that that you know, I, it was definitely good to have that connection uh, between two of my uh, my favorite things, and, and still two of my favorite things. So, um, but yeah. So anyway, 
Uh, not this year, probably not. <laughs> Any other questions, Alex? Um, that is going to conclude our questions uh, for the day. So um, definitely a thank you to uh, Rochelle at Rochelle Nor- uh, Norland and uh, at our uh, our main man Lewis from Montreal at the Lewis guy. So uh, thank you very much. Excellent questions, everybody. Absolutely. Excellent questions. And uh, definitely encourage all of our uh, listeners to uh, you know, keep sending in those questions. You know, we uh, we love. Uh, we love having them. We it, it definitely you know sparks up some some conversation and some debate with us, and uh, it's, it's there are times when it's good that we are not recording in the same room. <laughs> um, that uh, <laughs> so we we may be at each other's uh, <laughs> at each other's throats at times for uh, with some of this stuff, but. Um, <laughs> But uh, yeah, so thanks again to uh, to all of our uh, our listeners, and uh, thanks for listening so much. All right, thanks again, guys, and uh, we'll keep uh, we'll keep in touch. Okay. Yeah. No. Absolutely. Right. Thank you so much for uh, for uh, joining us uh, on this show. I mean, we're you know, we're, like exactly. I said at the beginning, very happy that you uh, reach out to us, uh, and uh, definitely look forward to doing it again. Uh, Obviously, we encourage all of our listeners to uh, follow your website, uh, Teenage you. Mutant Ninja Turtles dot com, <laughs> the site for uh, Ninja Turtles news. And uh, and uh, thank you know, thanks again so much uh, for joining us today. Absolutely. And uh, as I mentioned before, we're going to try to make an article of this. And we'll, if you guys have any images that you guys want to send to us, we'll try to put it in the article. And we'll uh, we'll definitely feature your site as well for this podcast. Absolutely, absolutely, fantastic, man! Thank you very much. Yep. Uh, keep keep doing what you're doing, man. You're doing a great job. Absolutely. Yes. Thank you, thank you, Alex, Ryan, Darby. Thank you. Um, check us out at our official website, uh, TurtlePowerPodcast dot com. Uh, Please, uh, if you get a chance, uh, check us out on iTunes. Uh, subscribe and rate us on there. It's always a good place. Uh, a lot of people get into podcasting through iTunes. Um, Alex, you, you were uh, bringing this up uh, a couple days ago with me. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's uh, let's get some some reviews out there, guys. Let us know how we're doing. If we're uh, if if you want to see something, if you, if you get, the only the, the best ways to let us know is email the show or uh, leave reviews. We will read the reviews, and we will read the five star reviews, and we'll have a little segment for that. You know, we'll talk about you know we'll, we'll uh, again. It's kind of like a little shout out. We love you, fans. And we're fans ourselves, so uh, that's what we're here for, and we want to uh, want to spread your word as well. So leave those five star reviews, rate us, talk about us, tweet us, email us, uh, you yeah, know, and, uh, and and thank you for yeah, for listening. L- yeah, let us know what you want to uh, hear on the show too. You know, give us some feedback. Um, you know, if there's a, a topic that you'd like us to cover, and if you want to um, provide some input on it as well, you know, we are a uh, we are an open book here at uh, the Turtle Power Podcast. So, um, open so, door policy. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you can uh, like us on Facebook, uh, facebook dot com slash Turtle Power Podcast. Follow us on Twitter at TMNT Podcast. Uh, you can follow myself at Fig Don Pat. Uh, you can follow Alex at a Rodriguez 2005. Uh, you can follow Darby at Lobo DTP. You can follow at TMNT underscore fan site for the, uh, the official Twitter handle of teenage mutant ninja turtles.com. And, uh, if you, uh, if you want to contact us with some, uh, with something that's longer than 140 characters, um, uh, you can uh, go uh, old fashioned email, turtlepowerpodcast at gmail.com. So that's going to do it for uh, this uh, great show. Uh, thank you guys uh, so much uh, for, uh, for being here. Um, uh, what, uh, what, what do we want to do for a song of the show, guys? I know, Darby, you, you said Cowabunga last time, and we played one of the two songs that was entitled Cowabunga. So we could do the other one. That's what, was, uh, what I was thinking. Sure. Go for it. 
Do it. Sounds good. All right, guys. Thanks again to all of our listeners, and we'll talk to you next time. Ah, uh, one, two, three. Hit it, Mikey. <laughs> Turtle.